Hey everyone, in this video I'll show you how to use AC to teleport yourself to the beta safari zone map like I did for my course solar hunt where I got trapped in first phase. Before doing anything, don't forget that you can't escape this place without making your Pokemon faint, so be prepared if you go there. Also, huge shout out to Perma Initiated, without who this video would never have been possible. If you can understand French, definitely go check them out. Link in the description. This video shows how to set up the AC and how to set up the code. If you've already got the AC set up, you can directly switch to the code part. The setup for this is actually really easy in English versions. All you need is two items and two Pokemon. The first and most important thing you need is the concaze. We'll use the concaze glitch to execute the first code. Secondly, we'll need Rocky, the Violet City in game trade Onyx. It has to be level 5 with no EV or EXP, so just try the level 5 Bell Sprout for it. And finally, you'll need a Quagsire holding the TM02 and let us return as its first move. You can learn it through the use of TM27. These two Pokemon will make you able to make the game read box names as code to execute. The next step is to write the first code in the PC. I'll show you quickly but you can find it and all the other codes you'll have to execute in the description in the right order. I have to say this code isn't mine, I got it from a video of MAP. The links to its channel and videos are in the description. Now go to the Pokemart and make sure Onyx is the third Pokemon of your party and Quagsire is the fourth, then save. Now that it's done, exit the Pokémon and take 4 steps to the right, and listen to Bellsport's try in the Pokédex. Open your bag, switch between pockets and use the concase to execute the code. If it didn't crash, go check your regular items pocket, you should have a TM17 there. If it crashed, make sure the box code is right and that you did everything correctly. Once you have the wrong pocket TM17, you can save and we can get to the next step of this setup, which is writing the codes in your boxes. The first thing to do is to prepare box 5 and 6 names. We're going to speed up the writing part, but as I said, all the codes are in the description for you to be able to copy them easily. Make sure you made no mistake, then you can write the first real code. Make sure the code is correct, then save. Before using TM17, place Rocky first and your Quagsire second to be able to execute the code. Open your bag and use the wrong pocket TM17. If the game didn't crash, the code probably worked. Open your PC and just see if the letter in box 5 changed to make sure it worked. If it did, you can then go on with the next code. Check if everything's right, and if it is, execute the code. Go check if the letter changed to make sure it worked, then you can write the next code. As usual, verify that you made no mistake, then execute the code.
When you just check box 6 name, the glitch character that will have appeared will have trouble appearing, so just use B to navigate through your boxes normally. You can write the next code which is the last before writing the final one. If everything is correct in box 5 and 6 names, you can complete the final code and then save. Go to the nearest gate and execute the teleportation code there, then use the door. Not all gate doors will get you to this place. If they don't, then you'll be stuck, so just reset, and try with another one. Unfortunately, you can't encounter anything in the grass patches, but there are some Pokémon you can fish and shiny hunt in the pond north of the map like I did myself. I would also like to remind you that you can't escape this area normally, so don't save if you don't have Pokémon weak enough to faint against the wild Pokémon you can fish, Pokémon with self destruct or something like that. You literally can't fly or teleport away from this place, so please, don't softlock yourself there. Now if you want some more information about this area, the fishing encounter rates seem to be the same as the ones in Olivine City and a few other places. You can see Olivine City encounter tables on screen, these come from Bulbapedia, link in the description as usual. Anyway, that's it for this video, I hope you enjoyed. If you have any question or any issue with this setup, don't hesitate to ask in the comments. Good luck on everyone's hunts.